everybody. I'm Greg Boston, the owner of QuickBooks Made Easy, and welcome to this month's Quick Tip. Now, if you just happen to run across this uh, video on YouTube, uh, what this really is is uh, we at QuickBooks Made Easy send out a newsletter once a month. It's called Quick Tips. We email it, and embedded in that newsletter is a little uh, YouTube video that gives you a little tip. Uh, if you're interested in signing up for the newsletter, we'll show you how to do it at the end. It's free, and it's once a month. It just gives you some tips in QuickBooks, uh, including this embedded video. Uh, but anyway, so uh, this particular tip is for June of 2017, and it's about emailing reports and forms out of QuickBooks. It's amazing to me how many QuickBooks users I run across that don't know about this emailing feature where you can email reports and forms out of QuickBooks. You can do it in the desktop and the online edition. Now there's virtually no setup in the online edition, it just kind of happens. But in the desktop version there's a little setup, so i got to show you how to do it. So anyway, so here we are in a little report and there's a little button that says email. It's always going to be there. You don't have to do something to make it happen, it appears. And when I click it, because you know if there's a button, you, you know you have to push it. So I'm going to push it. And it says, hey, do you want to send this as an Excel or a PDF? Now, I like sending stuff as PDF because if you send something as an Excel document, then the recipient, well, they can go in and change the numbers and then they can claim that you sent them something different than what you sent them. So let's not do that. Sounds like I don't trust people, but I actually do uh, trust people probably too much. But anyway, so I'm going to send the report as a PDF. Now, if you've never set up this email, then it's going to prompt you to set up the email now. So you just click it and it takes you to a little window where you can set your email up. However, once you set it up, if you want to change your email, this is where you go to change it as well. So I need to show you where you go to get to here directly. So if you've already set up your email, you won't get that little thing that says set it up. But let me show you where you go to change the email if you've already set it up and you just want to change it. Email, edit, preferences, send forms, and there it is right there. It's under the send forms category. So understand if I you can go to it directly by going up to the edit or if you've never set it up before, then you'll get this little button and then you can push it takes you to the same place either way this is where you go to set it up this is where you go to change it so i'm going to click now notice under email there's webmail and quickbooks email this one costs money uh and it goes through the in, uh, into it but if you click webmail then you have the opportunity to send it through your own email okay so i'm going to click webmail i'm going to click add and I'm going to put my email ID, which is basically my email address. I don't know how to spell my own name. It's a little scary. Uh, and then email provider. Now, if you are lucky enough to have Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail Live as your email provider, then all you got to do is put the email provider. It knows the server name and the port. And you click OK and you're done. If, however, your email provider is not one of these three, then you got to put others. And then you have to ask the IT person what the server name and the port is. Okay, but they'll know. But mine is Gmail, so it's pretty easy. That's literally all I have to do to set it up. It's that easy. So let me cancel this. So now that I've set it up, when I go to email a PDF, this window pops up. This is from, this is my email address. This is where I want to send it to. And I'm going to send it to myself. All right. And the report comes in a, as an attached PDF. And then this is the subject line that appears in the email. It says report from Synergy Now. I'll say, look at this. <laughs> But anyway, and then there's wording here. Please review the attached report. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Um, and, you know, you can add any other words uh, that you want. You can change it, whatever you want to do. Actually, don't contact us. Uh, I wish to be alone.
because I don't really want to be alone, so it's bad karma. Um, and you know what? Actually, I don't want to be alone at all, so I'm going to remove this. Well, you know. All right. We'll just do that. All right. So I'm going to click send. And literally, that's all I've done. I'm doing this with a live file. This is how you would do it at your office. I click send. It wants the email passwords. It's going through my email. So it wants my email password. And then it's going to send it. Now, in this case, it was sent. Sometimes when you go to set it up, if it's Gmail, it won't send it. And you'll be like, why is it not sending it? You'll know it's send it. It, it sent it if it says this. If it doesn't say that, that means something's wrong. It didn't send it. If that happens for you with Gmail, it's because Gmail has a block. You need to go to your email uh, and you'll see Gmail sent you something saying, Intuit wants to use us to send emails. Is that okay? And you click yes, then it'll start working. But anyway, in this case, I've already done that. So uh, the message was sent successfully. So that's it. Now, just to kind of hammer at home here that this really worked, uh, I'm going to go into my email and you will see, look at this. Check that out. So now I've got an email. I click it. There's the words. Here's the attached report. Pretty cool. So that's pretty simple. Uh, that's a little setup. Now uh, you can also do this with uh, forms. So if I go to an invoice form, you will see there's a little email right here where I can email as well. Okay. So it's on most of the forms and most of the reports, all the reports in QuickBooks, and, and uh, I think pretty much all the forms, or most of the forms in QuickBooks as well. So uh, now, Turning our attention to the online edition. Uh, in the online edition, we'll go over the online edition. This is really simple. Uh, it's already set up. All you got to do is when you're on a report, you just click this little envelope here, and then it gives you a picture of what it's going to send, and then you click email, and then you put the information on here and you click send. It's real simple. So that is no big deal. There's no setup required is what I want to say. Uh, notice how it's not asking you for your email information because in the online edition, Intuit kind of takes care of it. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, if you're interested and you like these tips, they come out once a month uh, and you want to get them sent to you, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, you just go to QuickBooks Made Easy. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see of any page really you'll see down here quick tips newsletter you just put your email address and you type sign up and that's all you do all right so that is it this is a rather goofy picture of what i looked like a few years ago of course i think i still look like that except i'm not that goofy but. all right i'll talk to you later see you next month